Ah, hoya hoya crew. Let's build mid-game rolling cutter. Rolling cutter is a melee physical skill. It deals 450% attack, costs 5 SP, deals damage in a 7x7 area of effect, and its property is based on your weapon, meaning you can use different converters to change the property of attack. It also has 0.2 seconds of cast delay. Uh, this build is meant for when you reach level 170, and that's when you can really start wearing uh, all of the required gears. Uh, we're going to start off with gears. So for the headgear, we can keep using the plus 4 rideward hat that we got in the early game, but now we're going to put a purple ferris card inside of it that gives us extra attack percent at the cost of a little bit of HP. Uh, make sure you plus 4 your rideward hat to get the full bonus of the purple ferris card. Uh, middle headgear, we're gonna do. We're gonna get a uh, new wave sunglasses, which can be gotten with a quest. Uh, lower headgear, you can use a bloodsucker for HP leeching. You can use a well chewed pencil if you need more uh, hit, because it increases your hit by a percentage. Uh, Scarlet rose can give you attack percent, and a rosary in mouth gives you extra stats. Uh, for the armor, a plus 7 Illusion Armor A with Delay After Skill Power Power Module is the best. Delay After Skill is the more important module that you want to get first, since it increases the amount of spins per second you get with Rolling Cutter. Uh, and it, for the card, you want to use a Contaminated Raedric card, because it combos with the uh, Raedric card we'll use in our garment later, uh, giving us a lot of neutral resistance to make us tankier. It also gives us attack percent, so we deal more damage. You can plus 7 illusion armor with the reinforcement cube from Varmont's mansion in the 17.2 quest line. In order to actually buy the cube yourself, you need to at least do the first quest of 17.2, and you can buy it in one of the shops inside the mansion garden for 10 million zenny basically it just makes your plus four armor into a plus seven with no chance to fail uh, for the weapon we have two choices we can use a plus six avaricia metal or a plus nine ripper cross uh, the one you choose is kind of up to you ripper cross deals way more damage but avaricia metal is far cheaper uh, Avaricia Metal, I'd say, is better if you're aiming to quickly move on to Cross Impact or Soul Destroyer or some other build. Uh, it's, it's better to just move along. Ripper Cross will be the better option if you want to make an end game rolling cutter build. So if you want to go all in and make the build for like full farming, end game dungeons and such, uh, Ripper Cross will give you more damage. As for the cards, uh, I suggest one Hunterfly at this stage of the game still, so you can keep some of the HP leeching, and the other card, a Contaminated Wanderer, for more damage. You can also use a White Knight card if you want a more budget option. Uh, for the Garment, we're using Illusion Engine Wing B still, we haven't changed it. Uh, we are going to enchant it now with Above All and Fast Module. Uh, above all gives you a little bit of extra resistance, it's just nice to have. Fast gives you one flat attack speed when the armor is at plus zero or plus four. Uh, and this one attack speed helps us reach 187 attack speed, uh, which allows us to spam rolling cutter at its highest amount we can get it. Uh, and for the card, we're going to use a Raedric card for the resistance and the combo with our armor's card. In the foot gear, uh, Temporal Boots of Strength are still the best. Uh, you can keep using whatever pair you first bought with Fighting Spirit and Speed of Light, Hawkeye, Runaway Magic. They all work fine. Uh, at this point, you want to start saving. Um, try to get a pair with Bear's Might Enchant because that'll be the best for the end game damage. But it's not important to get at this stage. You, you can wait uh, wait until you have the rest of the build first. 
for the card, you can stay with Ominous Freezer or Green Ferris card. Uh, if you want more damage option, though, you can use a Deep Sea Merman card, which gives about 30 to attack when you have 120 strength. Uh, for our right accessory, we're going to keep using Illusion Booster. We're not going to change this. Uh, Drain Life module keeps our HP leeching. Uh, two strength modules for damage. I believe the other stat module you can use is Agi, which it works as well. It could help with your attack speed. Uh, the card, we want to use a Sewage Cramp card. Uh, it gives a high amount of damage for a Rolling Cutter. Uh, it also gives us a lot of HP percent to be tankier. Uh, the left accessory, keep using your Illusion Booster until level 160. At 160, that's when you can change into a Kingsmith's Strong Insignia. Even with no enchants, it gives 10% attack, which is pretty good, and it's really cheap. Uh, the enchants, though, when you do get enchants for it, you want Power, Fighting Spirit 7, and either Strength, Agi, or Dex. The stat's not too important. Even if you get a bad stat, it's kind of okay. Uh, you want to focus on Power and Fighting Spirit. Uh, fighting Spirit's just attack. Uh, power combos with Bear's Might. So it doesn't actually do anything until you have Bear's Might. Which is why it's not important to get right away. But you do want to get it when you can also get Bear's Might. For the card, we're also going to use another Sewage Cramp card for HP and skill damage. Uh, as for the pet, keep using Incubus. Keep using Succubus. Whatever one you prefer. Uh, consumables, these also stay the same. Uh, you want to use Poison Bottle whenever you can. Uh, Garana Candy gives you agility, attack speed, movement speed. Awakening Potion gives you attack speed. Cellar Mind Juice gives you attack speed. Uh, Magic Mushroom you want to use more often whenever you can now. Uh, because you're reaching 187 attack speed, uh, the cast delay is actually more important because it, it maximizes your spins per second. Uh, so with 187 attack speed and 30% after cast delay that we'll get, you reach 7 spins per second. A, another option for uh, more damage, you can use a Red Herb Activator. These are kind of expensive, so you don't need to use them, but it's there if you need the extra damage. Uh, and finally, the stats. So we're level 170. For the stats, we're going to have 120 strength because we need it for the temporal strength boots. Uh, 109 agility. Uh, this helps our awakening potion scale and give us more attack speed. Uh, 94 vit. Uh, this gets us 100 vit in total, including our bonus from job. Uh, 100 vit gives you stun immunity, so you're never stunned and just end up dying because you can't react. Uh, 2 int, it's just left over. 100 dex for hitting things. Uh, also a little bit of attack speed and attack. And then luck for the extra hit, attack, and flee. Uh, and that's it for the mid-game rolling cutter build. Actually, we'll go over quickly. So with this build at level 170, uh, with the full setup... Avaricia Metal deals 84,000 damage on average per Rolling Cutter, whereas a Ripper Cross at plus 9 will deal about 112,000 average. So you can see about a 30,000 damage uh, difference between them. Uh, but what, but uh, Ripper Cross is also 6 to 7 times more expensive than a plus 6 Avaricia Metal. That's all there is for the mid-game Rolling Cutter build. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you liked the video, subscribe to the channel, share it with friends, and I'll see you in the next video.